Constitution of Puerto Rico said, got together, was like, how are we going to fix this? So I was like, well, we need some scientists and some experts to help us figure this out. Oh. So these two political leaders said to these scientists and experts, okay, you go do what you got to do, figure out how we're going to fix this. So after two years of studying, sounds like these scientists stuff. and experts came back yeah. and said, our recommendation is to decriminalize all drugs. placement, apartments, you name it. And one of the things they did with job placement, they used to be a mechanic. They, they, uh, they would have people go to the garage and say, you hire this person who's you know, on drugs to turn the life off. If you hire them, we'll pay half his wages for a year. Oh, wow. And so, and then, and then Portugal is like, and there are five political parties in Portugal, none of them have wanted to go back. And even there was a referendum in, in Switzerland five years after this heroin legalization came about. 70% of Switzerland citizens voted on the side of the Oh, well. Eventually, it's going to happen here. Uh, uh, eh, who knows? Yeah, I don't here, think Biden's going to go for that. Here, I don't know. That's going to be a long time before it does. But we spent a trillion dollars on the war on drugs, and it's taken us 100 years. Where? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I don't think we've really made that much progress with all that, have we? Nope. Like I said, Johan Hari on the Joe Rogan Experience laid it all out. I wonder it's if an amazing it's gonna, interview. I, I wonder if it's going to solve all the racial problems. If it might. Realize it. You know, because the, the, the stereotype that the minorities are into well, stuff like that more than, than we do. We well, are, so. I think, bo think both black and white use use the drugs about? about the same it's just that there's an unfair ratio of arrest yeah well again Johan Hari brought this up when the drug war started the drug war started in like 1934 ish right around after mm -hmm. prohibition ended and the guy who ran it was named Harry Anselm mm -hmm. and he had two intense hatred one was the hatred of people with addiction problems and the other was African Americans mm -hmm. He used racial slurs so much that even his, I think his secretary or whoever said that he should have to resign. And this was back in the 20s and 30s, so give you an idea how racist he was. 20s and 30s, 1920s? Yeah, 1920s, 1930s. Yeah, it's around the time that Hitler went in power in uh, Germany and yes. killed the Jews, so. But one of the things, uh, Billy Holiday, this is where Billy Holiday comes into play. Mm -hmm. 1939 in Manhattan. She first sings her song "Strange Fruit." Oh yeah, "Strange Fruit," mm -hmm. which is which is Simone. I just, I just heard, not I just the heard that song yesterday. Not the big fruit. It's a strange fruit. Too. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, big a, it's, a, it's, an anti, it's an anti lynching song. Oh, go. But yeah, um, okay. And it was basically anti lynch. It's an anti lynching song, mm -hmm. and she sang it in 